Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube video. In today's video, I want to talk about why I believe high ISOs aren't as bad as people like to make out. I know for me, when I was first starting out in photography, every tutorial on YouTube, every Instagrammer, everyone always mentioned the fact that you need to have your ISO set at 100 and don't poke it because your pictures will look horrible. But in my opinion, that isn't true. So in today's video, I wanted to demonstrate that by shooting different pictures at different ISOs and showing the benefits you can get from doing so. But my first picture, you can see here how I shot at an ISO of 250. So not really much higher than the original 100 everyone goes on about, but that did allow me to use the other settings which I wanted to and again here shot another picture just step back further as you can see just wanted a different perspective on the image and again shot at basically exactly the same settings i normally shoot in aperture priority mode anyway just for me unless i have a really fast moving subject that is the most important thing to me and i think it is perfectly fine to keep your settings uh in somewhat automatic uh, i don't think it really hinders your performance or doesn't make you a professional photographer so of course in this next photo uh, again apologies nothing really to take photographs of uh, this is a good example of iso set at 100 uh, f 1.4 shutter speed wasn't really too bothered what that was um, so left that alone but because it was quite a dark and cloudy day I was able to keep the ISO down as l quite low anyway. Um, obviously, I did have an ND filter on, which did also help. So that's something which, if you really do need to keep your ISOs down, uh, buy an ND filter. That will that will help. Again, here you can see me getting uh, getting creative as all the dog walkers are wondering what I'm doing. And uh, yeah, as you can see here, ISO of 250, 160. And uh, yeah, here's me walking around the woods looking like a weirdo. Uh, again, by the way, I just wanted to mention I am filming using a DJI Pocket 2. Just for those that are interested, I am going to do a video on my camera gear and video gear that I use to take my videos and take my pictures and the bag I used to carry it. So hopefully you guys want to see that and yeah, that will probably be my next video I do.
However, coming up here is probably one of the best pictures I took of the whole uh, walk. Hopefully you guys think so too. Let me know down in the description below. But it does demonstrate really the whole point of this video is that is one of my favourite pictures I've probably taken. And it shot at an ISO of 3200. But it did allow me to keep my shutter speed down really low. And I don't think I can personally tell the difference. Hopefully you can't either. Uh, but it does get my point across that, like I said, I don't personally think it really matters what your ISO is. And it's something that we're, I'd wished I'd have known earlier in my photography. Side note, I do apologise for my choice of clothing, it really was a quick uh, grab everything, put it in my bag and go out and try and take some pictures for this video. Uh, will definitely try and style myself a bit better in future videos, but I suppose every photographer looks a bit weird because we're walking around with loads of camera gear strapped to ourselves in all different types of places where they shouldn't be and yeah looking ridiculous walking around holding cameras so and i have a weird obsession of checking myself out in the camera so what can i say
But yeah, anyway, so that was the final picture of the day and I suppose really doesn't uh, help the point of this video as it was taken at a lower ISO. But uh, anyway, yeah, this was my first of many videos. Uh, next video will be about my camera gear. Um, and then after that, who knows? But uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed my video and like and subscribe for more.